water towers. Don't hold water. Thought about them for years. I made another video about them years ago and I can't find it. I think YouTube erased it. I go back and forth between a lot of different ideas of what they're actually doing with these things. It's not water. We will need to hold water up in the air. <laughs> Maybe collecting uh, atmospheric electricity. And then store it into there, all the, all the electrical. Like, what do they need all that for? If this isn't somehow collecting atmospheric electricity. Things huge, but uh, I'm I'm open-minded to other ideas of what it could be, what these really are. I mean, there's like vents on the side there. Clearly get up top there. And then the obvious, those guys. They're they're really big. Um, it's hard to tell. But those are probably one on the left is probably 15 feet high. Collecting some sort of electric out of the air. Let's see what this says. It's hard to read it. What the hell? Okay, I'm gonna go just a little closer. Man, you could get jail time for going up in up in there. And then this says Verizon Wireless. And then check that out. Ooh, I'm being watched. <laughs> Yeah, these are more than just water towers. They're actually hiding those wires behind that thing. It goes all the way up. All right. All right, here's another water tower near me. Can't get up close to this one like I did the other one. There's no way up there. They have it all blocked off. Uh, one of the things, other things about water towers I notice is that all of them are on high ground. So there's something about them being high up in the air, as high as they can get them. This one has some sort of antenna. What is that right there? Yeah, same. Um, these are all over uh, around where I live. And um, I just happened to be going by this one, so I thought I'd take a quick look at it. Not a lot to see, but definitely does show how it's on high ground. Build up on that hill. And then they definitely let all these trees grow around it, really try to hide it. I'm sure that they would say, it's, uh, you know, for aesthetics, but I think it's just to hide it. Why would you hide it? 
All right, here is another one. This one is 200 feet high. And uh, it's located in kind of a really bizarre area. A lot of work, just weird area. Um, not really gonna drive down to the base of it. But this is the biggest one around here. Try to get up here a little bit. Not much to see really on the outside of it. But again, I mean, for water to be stored up at the top, it kind of makes no sense. Um, I mean, I've looked into them and there's a whole uh, schematics of how they work and it. I don't buy it because I don't buy anything they tell us. Everything seems to, not seems to be, everything's, pretty much everything's a lie. So why wouldn't they be lying about this? Why wouldn't they lie about volcanoes? <laughs> this is like small potatoes. I just think they figure nobody ever really uh, considers to even look at these. Just assume it's a water tower and move on and Those could be acting as some sort of conductors. I actually have to uh, mention that a really good friend of mine brought water towers up to me. And it blows my mind. Um, I'll tell you who he is. and uh, Definitely go give him a follow. He, he's mostly on TikTok, but he's uh, trying to get something going on. YouTube, because, you know, who knows what's going to happen to TikTok. Um, he's uh, called the uh, fittest flat earther. But he brought this up, brought water towers up to me, and his mind and my mind kind of work alike. You know, I reached out to him, we're kindred, kindred souls, sorry. And uh, he's coming up with the same stuff before I even bring it up. And uh, so, yeah, go give him a. Go give him a follow. This is actually uh, gorgeous. <laughs> it's pretty beautiful tonight. Well, that's just a you know little thought process on um, water towers. What do you guys? Uh, anybody out there? think about this or ever thought about these being maybe kind of like you know quote unquote tesla coils or something of that nature or something completely else um what i i personally believe that they are not for water oh right on cue <laughs> they haven't been spraying all day it's actually been really nice That'll be a nice evening cloud. <laughs> it's like you knew I was here. Just gonna try to cover it up. <laughs> See, this is a perfect example. This is this is spray. Right below this plane is another plane. Where you at plane? Right there. It's leaving a trail, but it's not. See how it's uh just a short little trail and it dissipates immediately that's just normal vapor from those turbines which are free energy engines by the way so that's not burning any any liquid fuel in there so that's just that's just the moisture coming out of the turbines as they're turning it into what is used for uh, lift and flight and then, yeah, it's really cool that these two flew by at the same time because you can show the difference. And it's faint, 
but that is still up there. It's, it's probably too faint. You can kind of see it back here as it's kind of starting to separate and turn into a cloud back there. Well, that was a little uh, side note. <laughs> um, until we talk again. Love you guys.